Doritos and stuff all on my Oh, I do. You leave it out here? No, I leave no, it in the back. No, it's the back. That's what I thought. Yeah. But damn, kids. Ugh. Like a little table. Let's <laughs> just eat all over it. <laughs> Don't matter. It's not important. It's not like that crap is expensive. You need a whole bunch of electronics on there. Right. Mm. All right. How much time we got? Uh, a good 45 to an hour. Yeah, we are. Right. You know I love them. Yeah. Don't blame it on me now. Never. Who's this dude? <laughs> it's keeping you away from me, mom. Taking up all my mother's time. Like I didn't just spend a whole bunch of time in right. Louisiana. Exactly. All right. My check. My check. Yes. 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 All right. Make sure everything good. Okay. My check, my check. Okay, I just want to make sure the mic on there. All right. Okay, is it? Low. Yeah, it is. Okay. It's looking kind of low. Okay. But we're going to get it, though. Let's go ahead and get into it. Let's start the show. Wow. Hello, buddy, podcast lamb. I'm your host, Sue Forever, and welcome back to the motherfucking MID podcast show. Uh, we've been going for about a good three, two, three weeks, but uh, we back in the building today. Ooh, I said that all back, but so now I'm all resting. Now I'm all resting. <laughs> come on, come on, I'm getting get my buttons all, all come mixed on, up. Sounds like that new MID. It's the MID podcast show. And of course, back in the building, I got Miss Jennifer. Yes. How hello, you been? Hello. How you been? I've been good. I've been good. What about your uh, it's, it's been a it's been an up and down roller coaster. It has these last couple of weeks. Um, but before we get into it, you know, welcome back. Yes. It's good to see you. You look tired because I know you've yeah. been traveling. <laughs> I have been building uh, kitchens and shit. And yes, that was. You probably built the house while you was down there. I almost wanted to. Almost. If I had like a one more week, I would have built a whole a week? house. Just a week? Just to build a, week. a whole house? That's it. That's all I need. Oh, I don't God. need a week. Shit, I need you to go look at my damn house. I got some shit to be fixing over there. Yo, that kitchen took like, what, 16 days? Mm-hmm. I had planned on finishing it in seven. Yeah. It was like, you lied. Yeah, 16 days? I mean, I've seen, I seen the, the before and after, so okay. it definitely yeah. looks like 10 times better. Good. You know? I feel like that's one of them, uh, them old grandma homes. It is. Yeah, I can tell by the kitchen. Yeah, like, I, I, like my, my mom grew up in that home, mm-hmm. and then the, the us. And, yeah, yeah. And I'm 40, so my yeah. mom is what 60, so the house is at least, mm-hmm. at least 100 years old. Yeah, so we still got my mom's house down in Georgia. It, okay. It's it's the same way. Like yeah. she grew up in that house, mm-hmm. and then, it well, you know, no, no, actually, her mom, well, my granddad actually built the house. Okay. All right. So by the end of the day, they built the house then. My mom, my grandma raised all her kids in that house. Mm-hmm. And then my mom retired out the Air Force. We went back down there. She did a whole bunch of renovating. Right. At first, it was like this little ass green trailer looking thing. Mm-hmm. And now it's like, Huge, no, no, she right? expanded out. She right. did all herself too. See? Yeah, so, what else? What else? Uh, so, you went to Louisiana? Yes, I went to Louisiana. Mm-hmm. Only got to spend one night in New Orleans, but it was definitely worth it. Mm-hmm. Well, actually, I went to New Orleans twice because yeah. my sister lives there, but only got to spend one night. Okay. But I do want to—I I, I do have a bone to pick with Louisiana. What? What happened? You know the Dixie cups? Yeah. Frozen cups for those that don't know what a Dixie cup is—they used uh-huh. to be a quarter. Oh no, no, that's. I, yeah. I guarantee you inflation don't pump that back up. They like three dollars. But well, let me damn, tell cup. you something. It was the best freaking well, frozen well. cup I had ever had. It, Yo <laughs> prices is up, flavors up too. So, yeah. yeah. They I mean, I don't know three dollars for that that's that uh frozen cup, cup it's, right? Yeah, it's just a yeah. Kool-Aid cup. Yeah, just a, yeah, it's yes, just it. it's just a cup with frozen Kool-Aid in it. That's it. Um we didn't call them Dissy Cups where we from. I forgot what we was calling them. Uh, what, what I know it? some call them Huckabuck. Oh, nah, that's two country. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about now. Oh, Huckabuck. No, nah, I, I, I never heard of that one. 
Hook your butt. Uh, hook a butt. That sounds country and racist at the same damn time. <laughs> <laughs> what? Hook a butt cup. I got a quarter. <laughs> <laughs> I think we just called a frozen Kool Aid cup. Yeah. I, we wasn't too uh, creative when we was from naming shit. That's all right. Yeah. Yeah. Give me one of frozen Kool Aid yeah, cups. Yeah, a frozen cup. There yeah. you go. I got you. But damn, three dollars or something. Now? It was three dollars because my sister. I was like, yo, I got ten, and it's like you know six of us. She mm-hmm. was like, that ten dollars ain't gonna do nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like what? Oh damn! Yeah. For some frozen water. Oh, that's frozen fucking, frozen that's Kool Aid. That's crazy. <laughs> like, I got ten dollars. We good? No, <laughs> no. no. You better hit the ATM. Exactly. I never thought the day I, I see you, you got to hit the ATM for some frozen for some frozen Kool Aid. Yes, for in some a fro- cup in a cup, and it had no fruits in it, no meat. Oh, nothing. They ain't mm-hmm. try to spice it up. Nope. Oh shoot! I would have put uh, some chopped up strawberries or right? something in there. No, mm-mm. no fruit cocktail, no nothing. It was just like here you go. Hell no. But it did but, have, know, like, it, a fancy name. It was, yeah. like, Jamaican Mango or something. I was oh, like, okay, okay, they get fancy with their names and stuff. Was it graphics on the cup? No, it was just, like, one of them. Oh, oh. okay. See, I got to see <laughs> what I'm paying more for. Let me see. I, I think I got a picture. Let me see. Because I just want to know what I'm paying more for. If I'm paying yeah. more because you're putting graphics on it, that's going to cost more nah. to buy cups, custom-made there you go. cups. That's just a regular-ass <laughs> cup. <laughs> With Kool-Aid, literally. A regular that's ass all, yep, That's all it was. Like, you, you ain't get nothing special. <laughs> but it was good, though. So, yeah. shout out to the woman that made it across the street in the White House. I forget what street my sister live on, but shout out to you. Yes, we yeah. got uh, Winn-Dixie and Piggly Weekly down there. Actually, oh, I want to say this, too, yo. Mm-hmm. Groceries in Louisiana are mad expensive late. Really? I didn't want to eat late. But what part of Louisiana you was in? Could you, a country part, Franklin. I, I, can, I can tell, like, New I mean, I can see, like, New Orleans right. part. But you out there. In the country, in, country. The okay. sticks. Like, a bag of French fries was $8? Oh, that's crazy. That's like Alaska numbers. And do you know that big, okay, I understand the big jug of oil. Yeah. Because so we was frying fish. Mm-hmm. You know, like, here, I was spending, like, $8, 10 That shit was, like, $14. Oh, hell no. They groceries are so expensive. It was, like. Yeah, it, I don't know how they're doing it out there. More expensive than here? Way more expensive than here. Well, yeah. Like, $8 if they don't have thing. food stamps, I don't know how people is living. Like, you can't work, pay rent, mm-hmm. and buy groceries, and buy the expensive-ass gas. And breathe. Can, exactly. You can't do all that. Because it's hot as hell anyway. <laughs> can't breathe no way, so. I wonder why it's like that. Because usually them little country, little hit towns right. or whatever, you can get shit. You can go there and get anything for the low, low. No. It was Never expensive. the bag of fries. Yeah, I was so mad. My mom was like, yeah, just get a bag of French fries and some oil. I was like, all right, I'm just going to bring in this 20. Got to the, I was like, nah, I had to pull out the debit card. Like, it wasn't, I couldn't buy that. A bag of fries and oil for twenty dollars, more than $20? Yeah, that's crazy. I couldn't even get no meat. Yeah, you had, <laughs> you had to come back for that. Well, I come back but on payday this, for the meat. this year, crawfish were on sale. Well, see, I see that's but on so, sale. Yeah, they Football. were cheaper than what they usually are. I mean, are. they can fish it. They get it right there. Yeah, yeah, but season is almost over, so it was nice to see, like, Oh, you know, I don't know much yeah. about that. I didn't know it was a crawfish season. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're, they're big and hard right now. Okay. Well, I mean, did that come out right? Yeah. Like, no. Uh, no. Yeah, we're yeah. going to just skip over that. So, yep. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't get no meat, and the crawfish are big and hard right, right. now. Right. Okay. But I did also get, so they got, like, all these little places where everybody's cooking and stuff, trying to make money, right? Mm-hmm. So, my um, aunt, she did bring me a turkey neck, but she brought me the whole neck. They didn't, like, break it up. Uh, okay. So, it was super long. Mm-hmm. So, I had, and I had pick feet. But I didn't get, like, the pickle pick feet, which is what I really, really wanted. But I had boiled pick feet. So, mm-hmm. I ate good. Like, fried catfish. Like, I ate mad mm-hmm. good. So, I thought I was going to hot Louisiana, mm-hmm. sweat all day, and lose a couple pounds. Nah. Definitely ate my weight. The, the, pig, the pig feet put it right back on. Right, right. back on. Did you lost potato? 13 pounds, but you got it back that night. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no, I mean, I, you, I commend you for eating uh, anything with the word feet in it. I'll tell you that much. It's so good, though. I, 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 it was, I mean, it's, I, I guess. <laughs> it's so good. I, I have a phobia with, like. And feet. Well, not feet. Just, right. like, eating shit that's been stepping on shit. It's so good. Day. And then you put a little bit of vinegar and hot sauce. And so good. Uh, just give me legs up. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. I eat anything. I I eat a pig elbow. Well, but that, how that, about uh, the lip? The pig lip? Yeah, I'll fuck up a lip. Yeah, that's really good. I'll fuck up a lip. Yeah. Um, no. No. 
Man, I might be a little cautious about the lip, though. <laughs> might be. You know, because the pickled pig lips, they do be having hair on them. So. Yeah, I know. Yeah. And then they eat everything with their lips. That's why I don't fuck with chitlins, because it really means it's shit. But Yo, chitlins is so good, No, though. it's not. It's so good. No. Hot sauce and vinegar and, and some crackers. Or even ripe, uh, white rice. White rice. <laughs> that, no, don't try to throw some white rice in it to make it poo, make it pop a little bit. It's a potato salad on the side, but it gotta be cold. The potato salad gotta be cold. You know, I'm from Georgia, but I got to mm-hmm. be the, the 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 most yeah, least I country nigga in Georgia because my whole family eat all that shit. Oh, it's so good. So I can get down with them. I just want the basics. So do you eat greens yeah, like pigtails and stuff? Yeah, like? yeah, yeah. I eat like greens. Mm-hmm. Um, we don't do pigtails. We do more uh, ham hocks. Yeah, ham hocks. Mm-hmm. And um, what else we do? It'd be some type of neck in that bitch though. Um, um, probably not the turkey neck because it's not too turkey many bones. neck, but it'd be like a, some beef. Uh-huh. Yeah, I forgot. Which salt one. meat. I think so. Yeah, can definitely fucks with the salt meat. Yeah. But just give me regular down south shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I what's the regular? Uh, you know, <laughs> dirty rice. <laughs> yeah, give jambalaya. Me the, give, me, give me the dirty rice, it's jambalaya. Uh, and I'm not a big seafood person. I fuck oh, with that's seafood, right. That's right. We but I'm not. A, I mean, I eat it. Right. But I'm not a big like crawfish. I just yeah. don't like how you got to eat it. I guess. You know what you gotta like <laughs> break it off, break it up, bite the head, and then deep throat the fucking. You gotta know, you gotta like, so you gotta put the head in your mouth, you gotta bite down on yeah, it, and suck on it, yeah, and then throw that to the side and peel the tail and then eat it. That's yeah, too much. what you mean it's too much? Yeah, I'm not, I'm, yeah. That's because you don't know how to eat them, Leo. You gotta, and you gotta be quick. Yeah, you can't I'm like, be, yeah, I know. It's you like, can't a, be like uh, uh, yeah, that's no. me. <laughs> that's me. I'm like, oh, y'all got gloves? Yeah, like gloves. Gloves. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, I ain't trying to. That's why I don't eat like uh, crabs like that. It's too much work. Like you gotta break them open. Boom, That's boom. the fun into it. So like, I, d- really, I, mean, gotta... I guess, I guess, I guess. My sister, man, she'll put all that right. in a, in a seafood boil. Oh yeah, yeah seafood so broil, yeah. everything. Yes. Dump that bitch out on the table, mm-hmm. and it's it's on and popping. Her and her cousins be every man for themselves. Shit, I, I'm like, nah, I can't. I said the babies even know how to do it. I mean, I know how to do it. <laughs> you just it, move it too see, slow. Yeah, I mean, I get one. You know, I go off in my corner. <laughs> <laughs> go up in my corner. 30 minutes later. Eat, yeah, 30 minutes I come back <laughs> and get another one. I, I want the corn no. and the sausages and shit. Oh, right. okay, okay. That's yeah, what yeah. I be getting, Okay, yeah, that's you know. the good part. And I get a little some shrimp. Right, and onion and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah but yeah. yeah, but if it, if the shrimp got uh, the skin on it, I don't. What? The shell on it, I'm like, oh, here we go. I got to work again. Yes. To eat. Exactly. But yeah, give me all that stuff. Like, I eat some crab legs. Okay. It's just already there. Well, I, I can break They're a crab leg real right. quick. Bah, real okay. quick. So you're not eating blue crabs then? No. So oh, okay. that's what we catch down in right. in Georgia, right? Mm, the blue, blue crabs, crabs, whatever right. it is. Exactly. And then, yeah. And Boy, they, I'm talking about they break new bitches. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Like, bah, bing, bah. It'd be like, oh, my God. I'm like, <laughs> this is like a strategic <laughs> yes. situation for y'all. Yeah, because you can't eat the dead man and all that. So yeah, you got to like, break it open. And, yeah. 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 This, this the male right here. This the right. male. Like, they be telling mm-hmm. me, this the girl. This the girl right here. I'm like, <laughs> I, I didn't know this was Discovery Channel. I just eat the damn crab. No, because you can't eat the eggs and stuff. Yeah, I know. Yeah, because I, that's what a woman is full of, you know? Yeah. Yeah, so you really don't want the female crab. Yeah, they told me that shit. They broke it open. Right. And you got to dig with the, uh, they, they be like yeah. ovaries. So I'm like, what, nigga, what? <laughs> ovaries? Why I'm eating? <laughs> Why I'm eating the reproductive system? Like the I dead man. The dead, yeah, the dead. The dead man. You can't eat the dead man. Yeah, that's what that is. So that's all the places you travel to? Yeah. Um, and well, my grandmother lives in Franklinton, but my mom lives in Magnolia. So, you know, I had to travel up and down that dark road every single night. Oh, yeah. Well, damn. Because, yeah. you know, we don't, there's like really no highway. Like, you got to know, like, where you're going. Country. Yeah. And then I went to Tyler Town, mm-hmm. you know, to get fish. My mom, yo, I went to this fish market. And I have never been to the fish market. I guess, I don't know how it over flew my head or whatever. Mm-hmm. But I thought I went, when I walked in, I thought I walked into a trap house. It was like a regular ass house. It was a regular ass house, but uh, when you walked in, it was the trap house. Like, oh, okay, okay. The black dude is standing there, like, yo, you, that must be your mama. What y'all want up in here? <laughs> and he got like dreads, yeah. and you know, and then he got the white boys behind his screen, like a plastic screen. I guess the screen was like for COVID. I don't know what it was. Okay. And he like, yo, she want this, this, and that, and break it down like that, and you gotta cut it up for. And he was like, you want the back or you don't want the back? And I'm like, no, nigga, I just come in here to get some fish. I don't yeah, know that's what it. I want. Yeah, you doing too much. But I bet you, if I would have walked like a ramp, no, nah, let me not put them people's business out like that. Yeah. But yo. <laughs> It wasn't right. 
I told my mom, I was like, yo, I'm going to wait for you outside. She was like, all right, I'm going to just wait here and get my fish. And I'm just like, all right. <laughs> they back there uh, chopping up dope and fish. Exactly. And I, I, I believe yeah. that. Because yeah. a lot of places in Georgia look like a regular-ass house. Yeah. And then you go into it, it's like a whole operation going on. Exactly. Like, Damn, like, I, from the outside. Yeah. you. Yeah. But when from the outside, mm. you knew it, was, it wasn't right. Yeah. Yeah. Even from the outside. They probably had the best prices and the best fish. They did because I got some black. And, I don't know what type of fish I got, but I never had it before because I really went there for catfish. Mm -hmm. But whatever they gave me was like mad good. It was like but the best it, fish I ever had. They didn't have no more catfish? No, because he was like, yo, you got to get here early, shawty, if you want some fish. And I was like, oh, what's early? He was like 8 o'clock. Well, I pictured him saying, no, you got to get here early. Yeah, he was like real slow. You know, he had his dress and he was like, oh, yeah, that must be your mom. Y'all look just alike. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, you want my number? Yeah, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. The dress was dripping, huh? Yeah, it was <laughs> real fit. But it, it was just kind of dope to see, like, this black dude making these two white boys just run around and do whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know oh, I mean? look at you. Look how you sound. Yeah, yeah. Make, let, make the white man white. <laughs> It's nice to see in Louisiana. I got you. I got you. Yeah. Okay. How long was that drive, though? That's a long drive. That drive was 12 hours. So, but this time, my son didn't come with me the first week. Because mm -hmm. he stayed back to get his okay. permit. But he flew in. Okay. But he helped me drive back. And, you know, it's I, I was mad tired, like, when we got to Alabama. I was like, all right, so you take over. But let me know once you get to Atlanta. Because mm -hmm. I don't want you driving in that traffic. Yeah. I fell asleep. I don't know how I fucked up and fell asleep. Mm. But when I woke up, he was like, beep, beep, beep. we was in Cobb that. County near, yeah. what is it, Six Flags and 5 o'clock mm -hmm. traffic. And dude just listened to music, leaned to the side. Yeah. But I remember the first time I ever drove through yeah. Georgia. Scared as shit. Mm -hmm. You know, all them big 18. He ain't like ain't nothing was facing him. Like, he ain't seen nothing around him. He got a, I mean, he learning. He learned. Like, it's no other way to do it but to get you out there. That's, that's how I learned how to drive a stick on the highway. Yeah, but he could have been like, yo, mom, we in Atlanta. You want to wake up? Nah, he was, nah yeah. he was looking out for you. And he said, because I fussed too much. And he was like, you and my sister was snoring. <laughs> I was like, yo, that was a good ass nap. <laughs> but uh, you, <laughs> now you, I'm freaking out because he got 18 wheelers on all the sides of us. And he's like slamming on brakes and throwing his hands up. And I'm like. Like you've been doing it for you. Yeah, Why you Who thought time? you had to drive? <laughs> like, 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 well, nigga, you just got your license. Go and he's just like, mom, go back to sleep. Oh, okay. Nah. No. Oh yeah, see, I don't sleep in cars. I was out. Yeah, I wish I, I wish I, I wish I had that. Cause whoever drive me, I don't know why I just gotta be up. I don't want to wake up dead. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to go to sleep dead. Oh, 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 wake up! God damn, damn it. it! What I miss? What I miss? What he hit? God damn, eighteen wheeler. Yes. Cause I like to help you see. Oh, you like to help me yeah, see? Yeah, I'm one of them. Yeah, because my son was like, I was like, you can't even see after like the passenger. We had so much shit coming back. Yeah. And he's like, well, I trust the truck. The truck got the license going to let me know if somebody beside me. What? You put all your fate <laughs> into this truck, that little bit of mirror, yeah. to tell you if a car is beside you or not. <laughs> I don't even understand the logic of that. No, me either. And I'm like, so you don't even look over your shoulder? He's like, I don't need to. The, the car is going to tell me if there's a car beside me. You know, in, the, in your little side mirrors, now they have a little car and it glows. Oh, it orange. glows. Okay, yeah, yeah my car do that. Yeah, like, like, yeah, like, yeah no. it glows. Nah. Yeah, he trusts in a, a nah, light. Nah, you got to always. He said he don't need to. The, the car can see all the way to the back behind him, he said. Nah. I was like, mm -hmm. we in Atlanta. I still do this shit. Me back too. it up, and I got the reverse. I got the whole camera. Thank you. Said, oh, yeah, no, yeah no. I still, he, he's like, what you looking back for? No. no because I, I, I'm telling you, I almost <laughs> got hit out here. Oh, almost got hit, backed out. Yeah. And. My shit, I mean, it got a nice yeah, little range, but it don't see, like, directly. Exactly. Like, I need to know. Yeah, I need to know, and I need to peek out, because I'm going to be more embarrassed getting to an accident with the damn camera, camera on. Camera, right. But nah, he was like, I put all my trust into the car, I'm just like, well, you won't be driving by yourself. Yes, yeah, I'm telling you. So, we made it back safely, and it was raining, mm -hmm. but we're here. I got you. I got what you. about you? How you feeling? Are you <sighs> mentally okay? I am, I am, I am. Last three weeks was... Just random up and down shit, mm -hmm. right? So I mean, it started off good too. I went to the went to the wedding in Jamaica. You're right? How was that? Oh man! I saw you and old yeah, boy. Yeah, you yeah. picking them up and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 and that was an inside joke. Right, right. He was uh, we was before the day before the wedding. We was at the pool. Okay. Down at the resort, and uh, you know he's a white boy, man. You right. Know, he be doing like you know white boy stuff. You know. Is that so, your sister who she married? Yeah. yeah okay, yeah, your brother-in-law. Yeah, yeah. Okay, nice. So um, we down there and. 
I mean, I, I was in the pool. I had got out. I'm looking cool at this point. You know, black people, we get in the, coo- we get in the pool. We get in the pool. you have your hoochie daddy yeah. shorts on? Oh, yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah. Okay, just checking. I was arguing with somebody. Niggas <laughs> in the stuff we've been doing hoochie daddy shorts. Yeah, huh? Like, but now you. Yeah, but Y'all now don't want us to cat call, though, right? Yeah, no, nah, dude, dude, cat call me all day. Okay. I'm like, I'm going to walk you home. <laughs> nice you see it. I'm going to say, you see it. <laughs> Okay, but it's so crazy. I gotta really put lotion on now. Like, oh yeah, because we looking now. Yeah, y'all looking, looking now. now. Your corner and your ankles. <laughs> like, right. Now you could have just said Not nice legs. Corner. You could have just said nice legs. Why you looking that deeply? <laughs> um, but he shot to. Th- I'm at the pool when I'm talking to everybody and everything. He shot to throw me in the pool. Okay. So he shot to like do the little scoop, but right. I did like a a wrestling move. Oh. Scooped him, but when I picked him up, he picked his legs. They're like, wee like that. <laughs> So that was the joke. So everybody okay. was like, oh, y'all got to do that at the wedding. Okay. So I said, oh, I'm going to do it at the wedding. Right. So during the wedding, um, I crept up on him. Right. And uh, I had everybody, oh, I'm about to do it. Right, and, right, right. And I picked him up like, wee. And I said, I was going <laughs> to spin him around. That's why he had his legs out <laughs> as I was spinning him around. But that was fun. Dope, it, it was fun, man. Good. Um, of course, Jamaica is beautiful. I bet it was. Um, yeah, it was just really just chill. Really? So, dude, was it like mango time? Because I know when I went, it was a mango time, and I was so upset. So, whoever was part of the, you talk about like this. mangoes that you can just get. Oh, I thought you were talking about mingling or something. Oh, oh man, you talking about mango like, soul? Yeah. Nah, but they had them coconuts there though. You talking oh, about okay. like season? Yeah. I don't know. I don't really. I didn't really ask that. Oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't. I don't know what season mangoes grow in. But I did find out. What I didn't know. My grandmother had this weird tree in her backyard with mm. thorns on it. I'm smelling like big thorns. Yeah, like, uh-huh. It's a lime tree. Did you know lime trees grow thorns? I do. Oh, okay. Right. I do. <laughs> <laughs> and the thorns is used to, it's supposed to protect. Well, it protected already. Yeah, yeah, I didn't pick out like one that. lime, okay? <laughs> you can have them fucking limes. They did have coconuts out there, though. Okay, but I, nice. I've been there a couple of times. Did you get your coconut? Time. Nah, I just. You was too cool to get a too coconut? Too cool. Man, I already did it before. You know what I'm saying? I, just, I haven't done the coconut. The coconut? Yet. Oh yeah, they fucking like, yeah, and chop the top off and yeah, you, you got to drink it like a homeless kid. Yeah, yeah. that would have been all me. Yeah. <laughs> Sticky and all, just give me one of those. Co- I haven't done the coconut because when I went, it was too cold. They didn't have the mangoes really? or the coconut. Yeah, I didn't like in like cold in Jamaica. It was windy, pretty windy. It was like March, April time frame. Cause yeah, we came back on April Fool's Day, so yeah. Well, I mean, cause last time I went, yeah, it was, it was April last time I went. Mm-hmm. It was pretty, pretty cool. Mm. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. Just I wasn't on the right side of the island. Oh, what's up? Was you on Matigo Bay side, or you went to like Matigo Bay? Matigo Bay, yeah, that's the tour side. Yeah, yeah. I was on that side too. I, but I don't want to be on the tour side next time I go. I want to be in like a rough area. I want to live in like the one day abandoned houses with the goats and stuff. Be that's kind of what you asked for. <laughs> <laughs> the last time I was there, yeah, the, the goats was driving. <laughs> <laughs> I said, "Nigga, where are we at?" Let me be moving mine. I said, "Nigga, that's, that's a goat." That's where I want to be. That is a goat. <laughs> That's where I want to be. Goat selling weed on the corner. Right. Yeah, damn, these goats mm-hmm. are gangster. Be careful what you ask for. It's yeah. hood. Yeah, I do. It's hood because I want to get like the real good weed and stuff. I have, like the trash. Yeah. You, you know get that some they good get edibles over there too. But all resort. There's somebody at resort always sell weed. Yeah, They'll I was at you. some resort. They didn't. It was all couples and shit. Oh, you got a couple. Yeah. No, I need to be like at a singles resort. Something. Yeah. But they did it at the. I'm telling you, every resort. They have a nigga. He be like, "Oh man, you need Yeah, this. we did. And they I bring did. it. They bring it with the room <laughs> service. Like you get a, a burger, fries, right. and a gram <laughs> yeah, of weed. Nigga, yeah. it's like, oh shit, nigga, this is the shit. And a tree that they literally pull off the yeah. ground to give you the roll to the back. Probably, <laughs> yeah, probably got it out back. <laughs> exactly. In the garden. So we flew in. Mm-hmm. This is where everything started getting a little crazy. Uh, beautiful four or five, well, about five days in, about mm-hmm. four days in. Uh, no, five, it was five days in Jamaica. I fly into Miami. So I fly into Miami, right? Strolling through the airport. <laughs> of course, you know, we late, so we trying to get right, to the next okay. gate. And then um, I get past this one gate, and then I, I hear this one nigga like, oh, shit, it's my time. All right, let's go. So he walked past me. It was Big Tigger. So it was Big Tigger from, uh, you watch one, um, Big Tigger from Rap City to the Basement? Mm-hmm. You ain't had no. Nah, I had ain't. to think about it. The, the dude from New York, bright skinned one, diet cat, yeah, right? Right, I think he's I from, know. Really from DC, though. Oh, okay. Uh, but anyway, Big mm-hmm. Tigger walked past me. And then, uh, so now I'm sitting there at my gate. Did you acknowledge him? Nah, nah, nah? I don't okay. do all that. It's, it's he wasn't starstruck. Nah, I'm not starstruck. Nah, okay. If, if Jay Z walked by, I'm done. Oh, okay. I'm done. <laughs> 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 yeah. Okay. I'll probably be a little bitch okay. if, if okay. Jay Z okay. walked okay. by. Okay. But. We get to my gate, and then I'm sitting there chilling on the phone, boom, boom. 
And then I seen Joel Santana walk by with his oh, okay. family. Yeah, so yeah I was, that's pretty I, dope. I, a couple of years ago, I probably been starstruck. It's, so did you like sneak a picture? Nah. Was his wife there? Mm, yeah, yeah. That's how I first. I would have took a picture for that. Light skin bitch. With the, I said, oh shit! I look like uh, Camilla, yeah. whatever her name is. Right. I see him strolling by like, with the kid. I mean, look at Joel. <laughs> he got the kids. Yeah, he hold got on the kids. Hold shit. on. Yo, hold, yo, slow down, shorty. Like he, he mad at her. Yo, she beat. Slow down, that son. Ass. Slow down, son. But um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty do dope. I'd be feeling lame when I. I, no, I, should, I would have like because Joel is one of yeah, my favorite yeah. you know, from the Dipset era. Exactly. I should I should have did that. Yeah, that's pretty dope um, though. At least you have that memory. What of? Of oh yeah, him. but no. you no proof because there's no photo. Yeah, you but, know everything yeah. is photo now. You gotta yeah. take a picture of everything. Now. Right? Well, yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> like I be no. feel, I don't want to be lame. Like yeah. Like, do, you like, uh, yeah do you mind if I take a picture? Do you mind if I take a picture? You want my biggest fan? I'm one of your biggest fans, and I don't want to. Uh, admit, uh, it's my pride. I don't feel like begging for it. Uh, Jay Z, I'll beg for it. You're right. Definitely. Um, <laughs> definitely. Okay, he probably be with Beyonce somewhere, and I'm like, I, I gotta get that pic. Uh, Cause I saw Noriega, and he's definitely okay. one of my favorite right. artists in the uh, airport in New Jersey right. about ten years ago. But I was like. Oh, look at yeah. Nori. That's exactly what I did. Please get that picture. Oh, look at but you know, funny about Nori, when he hopped off the plane, like, he hopped off the plane, he was just by himself. But the way he looked like, man, I know somebody know yeah. me in this bitch. Right, man. somebody better ask for picture. N-O-R-E, right. Nori, did it. And he looked dead at me like, he like, nigga, yeah, I know, I know you, you know. Like, oh, so, like, oh, I just saw Nori. He like, <laughs> like just say, I just saw Nori in the airport in New Jersey. Right. But when you stop at those like Atlanta, Miami, right. New Jersey, you're going to see somebody in there. I never so, do. And plus, they travel with their family. They didn't want to stop them. They, they might have been late. Right, whatever. but yeah. so they weren't doing private? Nah, nah. I'm pretty sure they were first class. Oh, okay. But they, they, they ain't got money like that. Oh, they ain't got that money. Nah, nah. Yeah, only, kills. only, yeah. That, that's yeah. how, that's how you know when, when rappers really got money. Like, you right. see them. Once right. I see you at the airport, right. you, you right there with me at the gate. Right. You normal. Uh, yeah, you normal to me. Okay. You, you got more money than me. Right. But but still. You probably at first class, but you you still wait. So you still counting your dollars. Yeah. Jay Z, he ain't going through nothing. He nothing at all. He going right. His his plane picking him up at the house. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Landing right in the front yard, like we waiting on you. <laughs> there is no airport waiting for him at all. That's crazy. Plane just landed in the backyard exactly. by the pool. Oh. So, but while I was down there in Miami, I get, I get a text from my, my cousins on my dad's side, right? So, she sent a text, and she was like, oh, uh, we, you know, we found, your, we found your dad unresponsive. Boy's girlfriend, your dad's girlfriend spot, uh, found him unresponsive. And blah, blah, blah. Now, <laughs> I'm about to get on the bird, on the plane. I keep saying bird like right, I'm, right. Uh, that's army shit. But anyway, I'm about to get on the plane, and I'm not even registering it because I'm thinking she's saying like my granddad or something. So it literally took me 13 hours to like to pop in my head like exactly what she sent. So I get back home because mm-hmm. flew in a rally mm-hmm. and I had to drive home in the middle. Of, uh, it was like 12 o'clock at night. Right. And it just wasn't registered to me. So right. um, the next day, like next morning, I got up, I took a shower. And mm-hmm. it just popped in my head like, why did my cousin Fruit like text mm-hmm. me? Like, and then she was like, something about granddad. I, mm-hmm. My mom was thinking granddad. So I'm like, no, hold on, my granddad. On that side, mm-hmm. uh, died about three years ago. Like, okay. whatever. So, I hop out and I open it. And she and this says like, no, your dad. Like, I swear no, to God, this like, no, like your dad. I said, oh shit, oh Bobby. So, cause I never called so that. So, no, nah, it's cool. It's cool. We weren't like, um, you know, we didn't, we, we didn't have no real good relationship or whatever. Mm-hmm. But you know, still get sad because it's still you know my dad, whatever. Mm-hmm. But I end up hitting her back. I said, uh, oh yeah. I was like, I just really reread your message. Like, you saying Bobby is on response? Like, yeah, he on a ventilator right now, according to his girlfriend. But could they, they, he wasn't close to anybody. You know what I'm okay. saying? So nobody, they were just trying to let me know, like, hey, I know how you felt about your dad. Right, but still. You know, boom, boom. So I was like, man, I don't tell this nigga about to die. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> so he ended up passing away, like, um, the day after. But before, I'm telling her, like, no, don't put dad in no text message. Like, you just say right, Bobby. Bobby. Nigga, like that that's the only way I'm gonna click into it. So he ended up passing away like the day after, right? So I'm like, ah, oh, here we go. So of course his, I get a hold of his girlfriend. Mm-hmm. And I was like, Hey, you know, you know, her Bobby just passed away. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you need need any help from me. Now I, I was just trying to be generous, but I was <laughs> low <laughs> key. I was no, like, don't you, you better not ask me for a dime. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you, you you lucky I'm even calling you, mm-hmm. right? right? So 
She was like, no, nah, we good. I'm going I'm to I'm figure this out. Mm-hmm. I said, all right, just tell me when's the funeral. Right. Okay, that's it. Just tell me when's the funeral. And I, I, I'm pretty sure I'll make it, I'll make it down after that. Now, I'm still holding resentment from my dad because he didn't show up to, like, my mom's funeral. So I'm, like, going back and forth. Like, man, fuck that nigga, man. That nigga ain't been in my life anyway. Boom, boom. So going back and forth, like, with that, that was, like, an emotional toll with that whole situation. But at the end of the day, I'm like, I know what type of person I am. Right. I'm going to go down there. But I reached out to my two brothers on that side of the family nice. that, that I never met. So right. I, ain't, I just called one of them. So I ended up calling my, the oldest one. I said, man, you heard about Bobby? You said, yeah, that nigga gone, bro. But check this out. <laughs> like, he just breathed right <laughs> by that. Like, but check this out, right. my nigga. Oh, you going to the funeral? Right. Yeah, I was like, yeah, I'm it's going. Like, he was like, that's why I'm going. I want to go now right. because okay. now this is the chance right. to for meet you for the first time. Right. You know what I'm saying? We're going to do this. I'm going to get a hold of Tareen, which is the, the okay. other one, and we're going to figure this thing out. You know what you did? You, like, you know what day the funeral on? I said, no, nah, but I'm, I'm guessing it's on a Saturday. Right. I mean, that's what I usually mm-hmm. Been to a funeral, so he was like, "All right, bad, 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 like bad, bad." Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and he was like, "That nigga finally got one thing right." And I said, "I said, okay, oh, okay. I mean, yeah, we, gonna, we really didn't we, fuck with this right, nigga." Like, I see. So, but I'm not a mean. I'm not a mean person. So, right. but over the years, I did try to like, and I get to that point though. So, right, we will. anyway, so I'm waiting on her to, to to hit me back with the funeral details, mm-hmm. right? So <clears throat> she sends me like, "Okay, the funeral is going to be on this day, boom." Mm-hmm. boom. And I looked at it, it's like on a Thursday. I said, "God That's damn it!" <laughs> I'm like, oh. Now, for one, we really don't want to go to this damn funeral. Right. And then you got on an awkward day, day, like Thursday. No, like, you really making it hard right. for us to come there. So, but it was in Atlanta. Okay. So I said, I mean, I know one thing about the Army. Mm-hmm. You know, I can just tell them, like, hey, what's right, going right. on? They're going to let me go. But I really didn't want to go on a Thursday. Because, see, I was Not trying to Atlanta. make it a weekend. Thing. Yeah. I was trying to make it a week. A weekend thing in Atlanta, like right. my boy stayed down there. Okay. So I was like, "Yo, I'm coming in." You know, Bobby died. He like, "Oh, that nigga finally gone." Like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, well, <laughs> he like, "Oh, God, that's Bobby <laughs> dead, huh?" Like, boom, boom. you like, "Yeah, you." I was like, "So I'm gonna come out there and fuck with you because I ain't wanna pay for the hotel room." Right, right, right. So he was like, "No, nah, you come out here, boom, boom. What day you coming?" And then I said, it "Should be Saturday." Right. I was gonna go that there Friday night. Then he was like, "Oh, okay, just let me know." But then when I said Thursday, he was like, "Oh, nigga, I, work. I work overnight at the factory. Right. I can't really, you know, what I'm saying boom, boom." I was like, "All right." So I made a decision. I said, all right. Now, I could have got a hotel room, uh-huh. but I ain't want to be down there that long. Uh-huh. And it was just a whole bunch of different So I'm trying to figure out what's the easiest uh-huh. way to do it. So I was like, you know what? Fuck it, man. I was going to do a turn and burn, man. So I, that's what you mm-hmm, did. I did. So I woke up 3 o'clock in the morning, got uh-huh. ready. You know what I'm saying? Took off at 4. Uh-huh. Got down there about 10. Uh-huh. The funeral was at 1. Oh, okay. So... <clears throat> So I'm down there, right? So because I don't fuck around Atlanta, I don't, I don't trust Atlanta. I don't trust the whole city. Oh, okay. Right. That's deep. And the only good thing about their situation, they was more in Riverdale versus oh, like yeah, yeah. inside uh-huh. of Atlanta. Right. But my boy he stayed inside, inside of Atlanta, Atlanta so right. I was like, shit. I'm looking at a hotel. Everything looks right. sketchy. And I was like, nah. Right, because the last time I was there was All Star Weekend. Everybody tires oh, was taken. Like right, no, everybody, right, 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 everybody right. shit was just left on bricks, right? right? Now, look, I had an F-150 there. They will not fuck with them. But okay. if I, had, I know if I had a charger down there, yeah. oh, that shit was gone. Right, exactly. So I was like, nah, I just don't want to be in no sketchy play. Right. I just want to, you know, just get down there and come back. So get down there by 10. I call her. I call the girlfriend. She ain't picking up. I said, hey, look here. Like, I'm like, look here now. Okay. I don't drove all the way down here. You know, I was down here. Boom, boom. Right. So she finally pick up. And she was like, oh, yeah. Uh, where you at? I said, well, I just, I just went to the funeral home mm-hmm. because that was the address you gave me. Just give me the address to your house and I'll. I'll go around there. So, I drive around there. One of my aunties that I never, one of my dad's sister was there. Okay. Because nobody showed up. <laughs> like, for for that side of the family, nah, these niggas was like, oh, you good? Like, they just texting me like, you good? So, luckily, one of his sisters showed up. Okay. Right? So, you know, I walk in, you know, Corey, like, you look just like your goddamn okay. daddy, boy. It's always You know nice. what I'm saying? So, I'm like, yeah, it's cool. So, uh, she was just telling me, like, you know, did, did some little things now and then, then take me down to like the the man cave that uh-huh. he had. Like, okay. You want you want anything got here? I'm saying, nah, I'm, I'm cool. You didn't want nothing. Nah, because they this what he fucked me up at. She was like, oh, uh, he got the PS5 on there. You, I said, what? Right. And I, <laughs> <laughs> I was right. Going right down and said, do do Right. Got down there. He was like, he's a PS3 or something. I was like, all right, all right, all right, yeah. And it's a three. Yeah. But anyway. Okay. So. I was out. I would have took that. Yeah, if you had had that, that but right. no, nah, yeah. I don't need nothing. Plus, I was in my 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 um, car, so I ain't had no room to put nothing in. So I was like, no, nah, I'm good. You didn't take a picture or anything. 
Nah, we get to that too. Okay. So we get to the we we loading up, get mm-hmm. to the we we loading up in the cars, right? We mm-hmm. we get to the funeral. But before we left, the damn g- girlfriend was like, uh, before we get there, uh, I just want to apologize about the obituary. So I was like, what? Oh, I said, it ain't no. Nothing. Ain't no big deal. Like, I don't know. What, I didn't know what she was meant. What mm. she meant. And she was like, no, nah, I mean, I just couldn't find a, a picture of you. I said, oh. what? I said, nah, this nigga was married to my mom right. for nine years now. But you, she could ask you for a picture. She could, yeah. I was like, but I, I ain't, we were going right. to the funeral, so, so, so I didn't want to right. get into it. Right. So I was like. Nigga got one picture. I, I could have sent you one picture. I do got pictures of me and my dad. We, you know, when I was a kid. Mm-hmm. So anyway, oh, so my brothers know they couldn't show up, right? Oh. Now they were flying in from Sacramento, right? And I understand, like he was like, "Bro, like it's Thursday. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't got a job like right. that to just right. take off like that." And this nigga definitely wanted my life to be taken no. off, losing right. money. Oh, uh, and the tickets was like eight hundred dollars a piece. Right. He was trying to bring, you know, so it was just mm-hmm. like it was just like a lot. Now the other brother, I never even heard. From, he ain't, right. he ain't he even, even attempt right to you know hit me up like you good like mm-hmm. nah. Uh, one thing I will know, them niggas do not fuck my daddy. You know, so I will know that I, I do know that. But <clears throat> so now I'm the only nigga there. So now she talking about the obituary at this point. I said, okay, all right, you could have called me. I could have sent you a picture. I do got mm-hmm. a picture of me and my dad from somewhere. So. <laughs> We in the funeral right now. Mm-hmm. Only about a strong seven people showed up to this whole funeral. And it was so funny. They were trying to put out more chairs. And she was like, no, I don't think that many people. <laughs> no. No. No, like, man, we only got 50. Yeah, yeah that's, that's really, really too much. much. You, right. you could take about 20 of them back. <laughs> you know? And she was like, no, I don't think that many people don't come. I said, my damn daddy, boy. <laughs> like, that nigga. He just didn't really mess he with just, people. And it wasn't even that. I just think he did a lot of dirt. Okay. He just okay. did a lot of dirt. And I just think people just ain't fuck with him like mm-hmm. that. Um, so I'm in there. It's a strong seven people in there, you know. Um, and then they start handing out the obituary, right? So okay. I'm like, okay, mm-hmm. I'm the obituary. Right. I get the damn obituary. The other two brothers on there, like he, got, it's a picture of him, like them as babies and shit. I said, what the fuck? And then I flipped <laughs> it over. Now my oldest was like, my oldest brother was like, I ain't seen that nigga since I was five years old. Man, I look at the back of it. This nigga strong, <laughs> right there, you know what I'm saying? Like right, right next right. to my dad, like that. I said, oh, this nigga's <laughs> lying right. to me. The nigga, you strong 18 on this one. You Got probably drove there. Yeah, What's full beer. You probably drove there. Him and the other brother, right? So I'm like, then I mean, I say, I ain't, I ain't nowhere on that bitch where I said, oh, okay. Did she put your name in there, though? Yeah, she put my name okay, in there. But at the end of the day, I'm like, no, yeah. like, come on. So now I'm like, I'm now I'm like this in the in the funeral, like, man. Cause that's everybody, not my dad. <laughs> So everybody think I'm one of them niggas on the bitch where oh, I said, nah, okay. ain't, that ain't right, me. Right. They were like, well, well, who you with? I said, God damn. Yeah. I said, I'm the youngest. I'm, I'm the baby boy right. at the bunch. You know, so I'm, I'm a brat. You mm-hmm. know, they were like, oh. Okay. So, of course, like, I got the girlfriend, right? So, you know, she like leaning all on me during the, during the funeral, right? I said, my dad casket mm-hmm. open. And um, so my auntie. <laughs> she be I'm like, sure yeah, she country that. too, man. They from Washington, <laughs> Georgia. Right? She country. So they, you know, they, they are they're just taking a thousand pictures of this nigga just dead in the casket, right? So I'm like, I'm just sitting there looking at it. They were like, you don't want no, you don't want no picture of your dead. I said, no, no. I don't do that. <laughs> not like, dead, okay. not dead. You know what I'm saying? So I said, I, they're like, well, why not? They looking at me like I'm crazy. I said, uh, I'm not. I don't want a memory come yeah, up but, of but my dad daddy. laying in a, and you know an iPhone, <laughs> yeah, like this. and you know an iPhone. They put a ding, 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 ding. They put that little. <laughs> that little funny music behind a, a nigga dead in the casket. Ding, 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 ding. Remember this? 2022. Like, no, I don't want that shit to pop up. That's why I didn't take pictures of my mom in the damn casket. Because <laughs> yeah, when the memories come up, first of all, I'm going to cry. Right. And then second of all, ding, 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 ding. I don't want to hear that song behind my mama floating around dead in the fucking <laughs> on the the memory. Picture. Like, yeah, <laughs> passing by, like. I don't want to. I don't want to hear that noise behind my mama dead flying around. Like you know what I'm saying? Like no, no. And the nigga dead in the casket. <laughs> so, but now I'm trying not to cry. Right. Cause I, I really. But I mean, I'm not saying I didn't want to cry. Like I, I think I got. I thought my, I got my tears out the weekend before. Okay. Cause my brother, my, my brother, my mama said he called me. He high. You know. <laughs> and the way yeah. you posted it, yeah. like I had to read it like uh-huh. three times, late. Because I wasn't really. Are you really? Yeah. Like, I was like, 
I can't rate none underneath this. Like, I need to call him to make sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I, I didn't think it was real. I was like, trying to promote my song at the end of the I day. I like, yeah, nigga, I made this song about that damn nigga. Now he dead. But at the end of the I day, try to rebuild a relationship. But I was really gangster until my brother called me. See, my brother got a way to say some say certain right. words mm-hmm. to get you to, like, give it a break. So, because he know I'm, I'm trying to, like, be tough because I ain't mm-hmm. really give a fuck about the nigga. You know what I'm right. saying? But he know I kind of did over the years because, you know, you still yeah. be trying to call the right. nigga shit. So this nigga called me. I'm, I'm out back. I'm on my henny. You know what I'm saying? I'm good. Listen to my music. This nigga called. He, I pick up. I'm like, hello. He was like, mm-hmm. man, you good, baby, bro? Right. I said, man, this nigga did the thing, right? I just broke down. Like, because over the years, I tried to rebuild with the nigga. And now he gone. And we can't do it now. It's too late. Like, I know, man. I know how I feel, man. He was my daddy, but he was your daddy. And right. You, got, you know, you going to go to the field? I said, yeah, man. He was like, you a good man, man. Right, you're right. You know, don't hold on to no grudges, man. You need to go down there, man. Exactly. You, you probably be the only nigga down there. I was like, yeah. So I get the seven. But during the funeral, did you, was it? A peaceful moment for you? Yeah, I mean, I, mean, I, I was good in there, mm-hmm. right? Until she started crying. Okay. The girlfriend. Then, right. So she all over me. Right. Yeah, it is. Right. You know, so once you the preacher. Up her emotions, yeah, right. once the preacher get the preaching, you know, it's, you know, you're in the right. church. You know, like, right. right, of course. Mm-hmm. Right. So I teared up a little bit. I wasn't finna right. be in it like this. Well, I'm glad that you let those emotions mm-hmm. out instead of waiting. Yeah, 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 you know, no, it was cool. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not afraid to cry. As you shouldn't be. You know, but I just wanted to be a little strong. But then this is where I, I, I sucked in all the tears. Um, <laughs> the seven the people that was there. Um, <laughs> they, 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 <laughs> it was seven. It was, it was only seven people there. It was like including you, or was you? Yeah, including me. Oh. And, and four of us came in the car together. Like, <laughs> the, yeah, it, that was it. So it was still cold in there, nigga. I was like, oh shit, there's <laughs> nothing in here. Like, it's nobody's blocking AC or nothing. It's it is straight cold in here. There's only seven people. Oh, uh, so the preacher he gets done, and now all the seven people want to start talking, right? Mm-hmm. So and they get up there, they like they look at me dead in my eyes, like your father <laughs> was an outstanding man. <laughs> he gave the shirt off his back, and then I'm like, y'all niggas lying. Right. <laughs> Yeah, he didn't give me shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was like, these niggas, like, they, but they look at me dead in my eyes. I'm right. like, come on, man. They, right. You know what I'm saying? They were like, no, your father, whatever I needed, he was there. I said, y'all niggas, right. Right. that nigga was not there. Exactly. So I was like, but at the end of the day, I was like, he might have been there for y'all seven motherfuckers, man. Right. His kids and shit, man. Like, nah, he wasn't there. And it's cool. You know, we end up managing, you know, living life without, without right. him. Um, but, you know, after that, I had to sign up. I had to sign off on the cremation paperwork. Mm-hmm. So I, I was. It was weird how like him not being him not being involved in our lives mm-hmm. or my life mm-hmm. that I had to make all these type of decisions, decisions on his behalf. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it is just kind of weird. Sign off paperwork with my name and, and mm-hmm. stuff like that. Um, now his it's funny. His girlfriend he dated her for thirty something years. Like, I like, think right. still ain't married. Time and love. So okay. she was like, we just proposed to me. You're supposed to get married like in two weeks. I said, then the nigga died. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> that nigga was not going to get married. Right, at all. Yeah, I think I might have put this down. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, I don't know. It's, it, basically, he died of a heart attack. Mm-hmm. And, um, was she on top of him? Uh, nah, nah. <laughs> she said she was in a bed. Well, that's what she telling us. Right. Yeah, that's what she telling yeah. us. But, you know, it, I don't know. She told me, like, he, he was strong as an ox. Like, it was. I bet he was. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he just passed out. And I don't know. Just had a heart attack out of nowhere. But, but why he was signing those papers? Was any money or cars or anything left to you? So we'll get to that. Oh, okay. That's another problem. I'm jumping the gun. Yeah, no, nah, you good. Because you think like me. <laughs> I need to so know. We get back after the funeral. They're having a little, you know, ching ding right. at the house and shit. So everybody's trying to figure out who I am. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm like, yeah, I'm Brett. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. So she's telling me, like, to go back down to man cave trying to mm-hmm. get some things. So I'm like, no, nah, I ain't gonna pull nothing out of that. But I was like, does he have like cars and stuff? Right. And then, of course, she was like, no, nah, we ain't got a car. So I'm like, what the fuck? What charger I was driving? Right. And she was like, oh, that's all random. So I'm like, well, y'all niggas ain't got no cars? cars? And, and that's the only thing I hate, right? right? That's how, like, that's how sad it was. He, mm-hmm. He really was in a bad spot okay. his whole life, which he, which he was. Okay. But instead of building a relationship with his kids, because we could have helped That's him with a lot pride. of shit. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Too much pride. Too much pride. Like, like we just didn't exist. You got mm-hmm. three kids out there that if you would have kind of been there, we would have gave you some money. Right. Because over the years, that's what I did. 
Right. Like, before I went to Iraq for the first time, I went to see him right. down there just in case I didn't make it back. And I'm right, glad right, I did because right. it was Definitely. crazy. It right. was crazy in Iraq. So I'm glad I did see him. Right. Um, and then I came back when I had my um my oldest daughter. Okay. He came up here. Like, we was trying right, to, to, but he it. just kind of like. He kept blocking that. He, yeah, he just kept blocking it. And then he'd be calling me all weird, like on FaceTime, video chatting. That's weird. He hiding in the corner. I'm like, nigga. Hiding put you. In yeah, the- he just started doing weird shit. Yeah, so I said, I. But I, especially during COVID, he was he was hitting me. I'm like, oh, yeah, COVID don't, you know, COVID gets you to thinking. It does. But he really didn't have nothing. But his man cave, mm-hmm. and I didn't want shit in the man cave. But he was, he was a Falcons fan and all that. I didn't, I didn't really want nothing, nothing in there. But he ain't had no money. Right. That that I know of. I um, bet you somewhere in that man cave might have had a couple quarters. <clears throat> I don't know. Yeah. But he ain't had no cars. Right. You know, the car that was there was was broke down and. Right. I don't know, but I just wish like we had that relationship. Come, we would never let my mama go out like that. You right, know what definitely. Saying? My mama didn't really. My mama didn't need no help. She right, was, she was balling. But always. At the end of the day, it's like we would have definitely like, no, mama, you got no car. We'd just put all the shit together, together and just right. get her a car. Right, right. yeah, definitely. Oh, um, but I mean, that's the kind of life you live when you don't have no relationship with with your kids, and I just don't understand how people can do that. Me personally. But look, but uh, that generation is uh, always like that. Nobody right? really showed up, so it shows how he yeah. was to himself. <clears throat> really didn't build those relationships or, or didn't know how to build relationships yeah. maybe that too you know yeah. he did have three sons and mm-hmm. what even if it is like a you know mm-hmm. distant relationship a father still wants to be like hey i got three boys you know that's just that thing i make yeah. boys you know did he yeah. have any daughters though did so, you have any sisters i don't know i know when we was living in florida mm-hmm. when i was a kid and my mama went to go file for child support mm-hmm. on him they put in the name like mm-hmm. Kofer, the, my last name Kofer, mm-hmm. and she was like, the, the, the lady asked you, you got the you got a daughter and they mm-hmm. well, you like nah it's, it's a it's a boy, mm-hmm. so she was like oh shit somebody else just came in here for that nigga about a girl, okay so somewhere out there yeah my mama told me that I think you got a sister out there, mm-hmm. part was born in Florida for one right. in Florida, I need to look into that you ancestry see if she's on this do that I'm I would do that that's how I found mm-hmm. my baby daddy. That's how you found your baby daddy? On accident. I thought somebody Oh, well, yeah, you told me. Daddy, yeah, right? you told that story. Right. So, yeah. yeah. Do okay. accessories. Okay. It's, what, a hundred, $75 or $100? But I think it's worth it. And then mm. you'll find out about all your other aunts and uncles if yeah. you want to connect. If you want to connect. But it's also good so you can tell your kids so they won't be marrying people, their family members. Yeah, you You know right. what I mean? You're right. But that side of family, they all You never West know. West Coast. Yeah. West Coast. You be yeah. on a, one of your daughters be on the West Coast. Is it true every time somebody do one of those things, mm-hmm. it updates like somebody mm-hmm. else? Just yep. I, it's a movie, it's a documentary on uh, mm-hmm. Netflix called uh, "Our Father" or some shit. Right, like that. I, I want to get into that. Yeah, yeah, she's crazy. Yeah, but exactly, it's like it'll be it'll send you an email like, oh, this yeah. person just connected to you. They'll be like your third cousin or eight That's cool. sister, brother, whatever, and they'll ask you like, do you know this person? Mm-hmm. Well, this is how you and this person are connected, and it goes all the way back because like my son, he was like. I didn't want my name to be Joseph Lee, but when I was at my grandmother's house, I got a pop-up, and my grandmother's great-grandfather, I guess that would be, like, my third great-grandfather, mm-hmm. my son, my, his name is Joseph Lee, and yeah. now my son's like, oh, okay, I guess I can keep my name. <laughs> right. It's cool now. <laughs> it's cool now. I'm not the only Joseph Lee in the family, so, yeah. But, yeah, uh, damn, what's up? What's up, Sam? I didn't see all y'all pop-up. I didn't scroll down. Right. Really. Um, but thank y'all for joining in. Yes, you know? we appreciate it. We're going to shut it down. You got anything? I mean, that's pretty much what happened. I do. Oh, what's up? What's up? What you got? You know I am a teacher, official teacher oh, yeah. now for Pine Forest High go. School. So me, exciting. Let me give you the perfect uh, just do now. Let, yeah. me, let me do you right. Let me do you right. <laughs> all right. All right. And okay. speaking of dads, so um, like last month, my dad's in prison. He'd been in prison since I was a little girl. He's killed his one of his wives, because he was a bigamist, he was married to my mom and to another one. Mm-hmm. Well, anyway, I sent him, like, a card in the mail because his brother had passed away at, like, the end of May. Mm-hmm. And so he texted me. And yeah. I was like, niggas in jail texting? He was like, Jennifer, I just wanted you to know, thank you so much for my card. And I'm like, oh, you're welcome. Mm-hmm. And he was like, well, I just want you to know I'm out. I'm like, out where? <laughs> like, in the yard? You're you in the yard. Right. Yeah, you're out there working out. And like... he was like, no, after 23 years in prison, I'm finally out. Oh, wow. And... Yeah, I don't, I don't know how to, like, okay, so I told my mom, and the first thing I saw in my mom's face when I told her was fear, because she was like, where is he, is he in Louisiana, Mm -hmm. you know, I can hear it in her voice, she's trying to be, 
And I was like, nah, he's still in California. She was like, oh, okay. And then I was telling my grandmother about it. My mom was like, I really don't want to talk about it. My mom was like, I don't want to talk about him. And I was like, but my mom has never said anything negative. And so I was riding in the car with my aunt. We were going to go get more supplies for my grandmother. And my aunt told me all these fucked up stories. Like, my dad was fucking that? horrible. Yeah. Like, I'm talking about, like, she had told me something about one of I won't say one the cousin's name. Mm-hmm. But she had told me about one of my cousins. She, he, she was a baby, and he asked her, like, why does your daughter sleep with her legs open? My aunt was like, she was, mm-hmm. like, less than one. He was like, she must be one to be fucked by me. <sighs> and I'm wow. like, and so it was so crazy. So, but me, this was before I had talked to my aunt. I was like, I still need to reach out to my dad. Like, yeah. I had, you know, he's my dad. So I'm talking to him, and I'm like, so what are you living with your daughters? And he's like, my daughters don't want, they don't want to have anything. They were tripping out on me because I'm out. And I'm like, yeah. you're mad because they're mad you're out. You killed their fucking mother yeah, in I front know. of them. I know. So, how, and then that was just weird. And so I just, I let it go. Yeah. Like, after when my aunt told me, like, no, I don't want to have a, a relationship with him at all. Like, it, yeah. But it, you it, don't know yeah, things like that. Yeah, it, it's, yeah, man. Thinking like that. I mean, I know that's your father. I don't want to. No, not it, really. It, he didn't I mean, raise me. Yeah. But, but thinking like that, yeah. you don't want to be around nobody that thought like, like that. Like that. Yeah, yeah. That had. Yeah. Because I remember, like, my mom told me, like, when I was older, she was like, yeah, your dad was like, um, he was going to be the first man I was ever with. Hmm. So I'm glad she left. But yeah. my mom went through so much bullshit. Like, my mom is a strong woman, mm-hmm. but to hear the bullshit that she went through from my aunt and for her to not leave until I was, like, six or seven, mm-hmm. like, seven years or however long she was with them before they even got married, which I think was only, like, maybe six months because she was pregnant with me when they got married. Yeah. But to put up with that bullshit for mm-hmm. those many years, yeah. yo, like, he could have killed my mom. Yeah, you're right. So I'm, like... Yeah, so she has to be strong. But women that stay with men like that are, you know. Especially abuse. abuse. Yeah, but then I think about it. It was the 80s. She probably had nowhere to go. It was probably, you Mm. know, women were still dependent on men in the early 80s. So, yeah. My dad wasn't like that, though. Right, thank (laughs) God. Right. But if he was, like, I got, Mm -hmm. I mean, I had people in my family like that. We just don't fuck with them. Right, exactly. For you to be thinking like, and and he was in prison for 23 years. That's just made it worse, to be honest with you. Ain't no telling what he's seen behind those walls. Because they don't, prison don't really help you, you know, right. rehabilitate you at all. Just kind of just, you just see more right. crazy shit, shit right. behind the wall that you can't even escape it. But, of course, yeah, he, anything the they get out and be like, man, my kids don't even want to fuck with me. It's like, yeah, nigga, you, you just killed. killed their mom. Yeah, I didn't want to go to my dad's funeral because right. he didn't say show it to my right, mom's right, funeral. Right, you know what I mean? That was the line. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? But. Yeah, you ain't for the wow. I'll have but to see you the story, like the yeah. um, oh, story. The actual article? Yeah, but for him to even be mad at them, like you paralyzed their little brother. Yeah. So their younger brother is paralyzed because you. St- <sighs> but in the article, it says he stabbed her 57 times. That's crazy. And he, mm-hmm. 13 organs he stabbed. Like, I didn't even know you had 13 yeah, organs. Yeah, me either. And what? <laughs> how can you stab somebody 50 something times? And then the crazy part is, it says he went back inside and got another knife to complete the job. Oh, wow. Damn. But you mad because yeah. your daughters don't want to fuck with you? And they see, they, they yeah. seen it too. Exactly, with their eyes. <sighs> so I wouldn't want to, no, I don't want to have no dealings, no fuckings with yeah. them. Like, nah. Yeah. You're, still, you're still fucked up in the head if you can't understand where they're coming from. Of course they're mad. They thought you was getting life. Yeah. You deserved life. And your ass popping out walking around now in Cali. 23 years party, later. Tacos and shit. Exactly. So I was like, what are you doing on your weekends? He was like, oh, every weekend I'm gone. I got a pass. I'm just hanging out because he has to be in a halfway house for a couple of months or whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's like, so every weekend I'm gone. I'm like, what are you looking for your next victim? Yeah. I know. <laughs> like, so I don't know. What is, that'll be crazy. Like a, a string of murders just murder start happening. Happening in California. In Cali. Yeah. So y'all be careful yeah, out I there. I've seen that before. Yeah, it can happen. Well, I don't know whether to be uh, happy or... No, nah, we're not happy on that, but I just wanted to share that part. It's funny because you part, oh, my damn my dad's out. And then you're like, yeah. yeah and, and then when <laughs> I... Like, oh. But now I put two and two together why my yeah, mom yeah. was like, where is he? You know what I mean? So, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She part. Yeah. yeah. She was like, damn, he about to come back because my mom, a few years later, we, you know, she's back home now. Mm-hmm. So, that's where his... She's like 30 minutes away from his mom, so... 
shit. In the next town. What so. part of Cali you mean? You don't know? I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I Venus, Venice, or something like that. One oh, of the, like Venice, it was like, Beach? yeah, the only reason why he was there is because he was in a, uh, he was sick and dying. Mm-hmm. So, you know, they moved him to a more comfortable prison. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, so, and that's where he got out. So I think he's sick because that's probably the only reason why they let him out. Yeah. Yeah, because he was like in a medical unit or whatever. He oh, probably made his own self sick to get out. <laughs> <laughs> Take your teaspoons of bleach. <laughs> <laughs> he just hear me. <laughs> she gonna catch up. They don't wanna die or get about deep beat. Exactly. One, one way or another, get about deep beat. So yeah, we we'll definitely have to catch up more and yeah. have more time next Friday. I guess. I guess. Drake album trash. Uh, oh yeah. We did wanna talk t- about that. Uh, yeah. r- real quick before we get up out of here, because yes. we, we all gotta bounce. But I'm gonna tell you what, man. Yesterday. Like I was telling you, I was at this dinner, mm-hmm. whatever, boom, boom. Then uh, open up IG, it is mm-hmm. you see you see the owl, like you see yes. Drake, yes, like, dropping uh-huh. at midnight. Yes. I, said, <gasps> I told everybody in the damn yes. bar, like, yeah, Drake about to drop an album, like, boom, boom. So it was like eight thirty three or eight thirty five. Right. So it was like twenty minutes for the ABC right. store close. I was like, oh, I got to get my <laughs> bottle. Now. So, Not with the yeah, time. Yeah, got to get the that started. <laughs> Out to the goddamn car, <coughs> got to the ABC store, got a got a big bottle of Henny. Yes. Oh, and hold on now, right. Henny on went up to fifty dollars. Yes, that's crazy. Yeah, because last time when I got it, it was what forty eight. Well, I think it well it is yeah. forty eight. I'm gonna oh, round yes. off to fifty though. Yes, it but is. It used to be thirty two. Like it used to, oh, it used okay. to be thirty two, thirty four. Okay. That's crazy. Just, yes. I, uh, anyway, <laughs> so I was already distraught about that. Right. I said, "Bing, forty eight. Right. <laughs> uh, okay." okay. <laughs> so, I got in the car. So eleven. So every time, like one of my favorite artists drop an album, I go back to their old albums. Right. And I start catching up, like like Marvel mm-hmm. movies or some right. shit like that. Nice. Like I started catching up. Like mm-hmm. let me go back right. to this album. Boom boom. So eleven thirty, I start pre gaming. Right? right. I start taking my shots at Henny, right. listening to old Drake albums, and um. By by the time midnight come, like I'm out, I'm out there, you know what I'm saying? I got bottled, you know, I'm, I'm pretty much drunk at this point. Okay. And when I'm drunk, nothing sounds trash to me. <laughs> nothing really sounds, I listen to any goddamn thing when I'm drunk. <laughs> so I played the first song, Garbage. Oh. And I was just like, okay, all right. Okay, it's it's the, the first, first song, song you know what I mean? Went to the second song, Trash. Oh. So now I'm sobering up. Like, I'm not getting sobering. mad. I'm sobering up. Like, man, what the fuck is this? Next day I know I was like on track 10 and I didn't even notice. I had skipped Zip that many. 10. It's 14 tracks. Right. But I had, yeah. Are you talking about bad songs? Yes. Yeah. So I had woke, like, soon I came to, I was like, damn, I'm on track 10 and I did not play not one song a minute through. Aww. And me, I'm one of those guys. I'm like a music connoisseur. Like, right. I'll listen to anything good or bad. Right. And when I'm drunk, that shit wasn't <laughs> hitting. I said, oh, no. Only one song that was hitting was the last song, and that's what 21 Savage was on it. And I said, you're going to wait to the 14th song, song to start rapping? You could have put that, like, in the middle. <sighs> so he sings the whole? It does sing the whole guy. It's, it's, like a, it's a dance right album. It's literally a dance. I mean, you okay. might like it. You might I have like to it. listen to it. Yeah. But my son played the first song for me, and I was like, like, we were conversation, and then I was like, what is that? Yeah, what he was like, he? that's Drake. And I was like, nah, I'm telling nah, yeah, But he waited, too, because he was like, we got home at 1030 yeah. after driving 12 hours. Uh-huh. And I'm like, you going to bed? He's like, nah. Mm-hmm. So he had made french fries, chicken. He on the Xbox, like, yo, at midnight, Drake about to drop this new album. I had went to bed. <laughs> and that? so he woke up, and he was like, ma, <laughs> ma. He, look, yeah. he probably was still up. <laughs> so, like, like, I can't believe. <laughs> yeah. But look how serious we get. Yeah, he. I'm talking about, like, <laughs> like he made like a full mm-hmm. course. Meal. He probably that dancing. Yes. He was playing. To old. Yeah, because <laughs> the Xbox. He was like, you know, had the little. He was racing, but you can like hear Drake yeah, in the, the background. Old Dra- yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he was getting ready, <laughs> like. <laughs> nah. Started from the bottom. Right. Number. You catch it. He going back, like, yeah, <laughs> yes. boy. And you get the album straight trash. But the only thing mm. I will say, hopefully. He got scary. He got a mix. Another mixtape come okay. called um, Scary Hours Two. Okay. Because Scary Hours One was crazy. Okay. That was a beast. So he probably gonna be crazy on Scary Hours Two. He probably gonna be rapping his ass off. Okay. On that. So we have to wait and see. Maybe he'll throw Brandy in on there. Maybe. I mean that'd be nice. But fuck that album. <laughs> and tonight I'm gonna play uh, Capone and Noriega. We about to shut it down. Hold on, though. Huh? 
Happy Father's Day. Oh, it hey, is yeah, Father's yeah, Day, so happy Father's yeah, Day yeah, to you. you. We do thank appreciate you. you. Thank we you. do appreciate fathers that are involved, and plus my baby daddies. Mm -hmm. I appreciate them. Mm -hmm. And also, Monday is... Juneteenth, right? There we go. There you go. That's so, the, the great blackest. weekend. Yeah, the most blackest weekend. Yeah, yeah. I was wondering, you know, it's kind of fucked up. I was wondering why we got a four-day weekend. I, I thought it was for your Father's yeah, Day. I thought it was for Father's Day. They were like, nah. And they, but then I thought, I said, we never get four days for okay. Father's Day. Yeah. They were like, hey, man, what's going on? They were like, oh, Juneteenth, my brother. I, I said, forgot oh, that shit. we had men on holidays. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. That, that just happened last, like, right. last year. Right. Was it last year? Yeah, I think it was the first. Yeah, yeah, because people were still fighting over to get the day off, and they weren't, holiday, yeah, yeah, for a federal holiday. Well, look at that. Well, thanks for looking out for us black people. Yes, right. we appreciate it. I ain't going to remember it. Just Not like at all. Martin Luther King. But we are going to pop some firecrackers, so my neighbors better get ready. That's what we're supposed to do? Oh, wait. We're supposed to be wearing fire, popping firecrackers? I'm going to pop the shit out of some. The firecracker people open. But what, but because we don't celebrate 4th of July no more. Black people don't celebrate 4th of July no more. I still do. No, you don't. I don't. He don't. I so don't, we celebrate don't. Juneteenth now. Okay. That is our Fourth okay. of July. But why, okay. Because so, that's when we were freed. But we can't. Okay, I got you. Right. But why be popping firecrackers though? Like Fourth. Because July? they pop firecrackers on Fourth of July. Let's do something different. No, well, we got to do it better. Just, just pop it's, guns. It's that's what we got to do. Look, look, it's on a Monday. Yeah. Them people got to go to work on a Tuesday. They don't be worried about our mental health. <laughs> so I ain't worried about nobody's mental health Monday night at. Well, probably would it be Sunday at midnight, or do I do it Monday at midnight? We should do a nationwide electric slide, or um, oh, that would be dope. Yeah, dope. That'd like be dope. that's <laughs> before I let you go. That should be playing all, all day, day on long. Monday. I might do that. Okay, that'd be pretty dope. I, I, yes, I should just play the blackest, blackest songs on Monday. <laughs> Well, let me know. I'll come for that. But I'm not, I'm not watching 12 Days of Slave. No, whatever. I'm not doing no, that. That's not, too Dan much. should not watch Roots. <laughs> right, that's uh, too That's much. a week-long episode. <laughs> I ain't never seen an episode that was a week-long, my nigga. <laughs> like the Jackson 5 movie. Like, damn, this movie a Wasn't week long? Wasn't that long? As yeah. Shit. yeah. Yes, that was a long. A week-long movie. That was longer than the Titanic. Oh, shit. Yeah, at yeah. least the Titanic, you can watch it in a couple hours. <laughs> no, not, not the Jackson 5 or the Roots. You start on Monday, that shit would end Saturday night. And then you got to rewind because you, you gotta, like, Damn, I, don't miss, I missed something two hours ago. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, I got to rewind it a day. I don't miss I fell asleep. Right. Don't be old like me, fall <laughs> asleep and shit. Oh, I, I, can, I, I can tell as soon as the movie starts. <laughs> like, put on a movie so it, I can go to sleep. It, it's 730 <laughs> at night. Uh, I'm sorry. I can't. Uh, it's just. Yeah. <laughs> but. Welcome back. Thank you. You're welcome back um, to you Thanks to everybody that tuned in. Yes. All right. Um, I'm getting the kinks out. Yes, stuff. we'll be back full in effect next week. Be I'll be dressed. Effect, yeah. We'll have a baseball caps. You know, be ready to go. No, you. I mean, you don't want on time crunch. You know, I don't want to. Um, I, I know. Your no. son is not about to hate me. I know. Okay. I had to pick up my son from work, guys. That's yeah, the only yeah. reason why. No, it's cool, though. I just wanted to throw a show out there anyway. It, it could have mm -hmm. been 30 minutes. would have been good. Thank you for coming up. Thanks for having me always. Right. Nice meeting you. Yes, mm -hmm. y'all. My she my youngest one came over there tonight with the headphones. Be, right, been thumbs up dancing and Still everything. There. It better not be that Drake album though. <laughs> you playing Drake album? I'm about to say, no, I know that album is not that good. She over there. Like, You're a lion. Just like the people at my dad's wedding. Oh no. <laughs> nah. Do you right. be you stay you. Yes. We catch y'all next week, man.